collision that brought the beams down. Look at the video and you'll see two beams fell down, one on a southbound semi, the other on a northbound semi. Somewhere in the incident, a white pickup truck was crushed and the driver killed. Altogether, three semis, two pickup trucks were involved. TxDOT said one of the semis had a load that was too tall and brought the beams down. TxDOT also said they have signs showing the bridge's clearance height posted three times in the two miles leading up to the bridge. Semi trucks do have access to maps and data that tell them which route they should take depending on how high their load. This is a new bridge under construction, but TxDOT said that should not have made a difference in the route. The new bridge is higher than what the, the original bridge would have been. So, you know, what, what, we, what we don't know exactly you know, what the situation is as far as how did this particular truck with this load on it impact the bridge. And at one point this afternoon, traffic was backed up seven to eight miles in each direction. TxDOT also took this as an opportunity to remind people that in Texas last year, there were 146 deaths in work zones. They urged drivers to slow down when they're going through construction zones.